Welcome everyone to the Vyond Podcast. Great to be here. So today we're diving into something pretty uh, spectacular happening over in Iceland. Imagine this. You've got fiery orange lava bursting from the earth. Right. And then look up and the sky is just alive with the northern lights. Yeah, it's an incredible image. This juxtaposition, uh, the volcano and the aurora borealis together. People are calling it a spectacular display. And, well, they're not wrong. Absolutely. It really shows off the power and, I guess, the beauty of nature, doesn't it? It really does. And the volcano itself, the one responsible, is in the Kagigar. So the Kagigar. Okay. And, you know, this isn't just a one-off event. It's actually shown quite a bit of activity recently. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, four eruptions just since December. Four? Wow. That sounds like a lot. But it's not just about the visuals, I imagine. These must have some real effects. Oh, absolutely. It's having real-world consequences. There's a town nearby, Grindavik. Mm. They've actually had evacuations, and some buildings, some structures there have been damaged by the lava flows. Oh, wow. So people have had to leave their homes. Yes. Thankfully, it seems the critical infrastructure, you know, power, water, that sort of thing, has mostly been spared so far. That's some good news, at least. Yeah. And where exactly is this happening? It's on the Reykjanes Peninsula, uh, maybe about 30 miles southwest of Reykjavik. Okay. And you said this volcano has been active recently. Yeah. When did this particular phase start? Well, this current eruption began, let's see, about four weeks before the reports we're seeing now. Mm -hmm. And the lava has been flowing pretty steadily. Steadily. As of early April, the rate was around uh, 3.6 cubic meters per second. So quite a bit of material coming out. That sounds like a lot. And is this area normally this active? That's what's really interesting here. No, not at all. This whole region was, believe it or not, relatively quiet volcanically for about 800 years. 800 years. Eight centuries, yeah. So this recent awakening, this activity, volcanologists are now thinking this might be the start of a whole new era of seismic activity for the peninsula. Wow, 800 years of quiet. And now mm -hmm. this, that really... Uh, puts things into perspective. It certainly does. And this sort of renewed activity, it didn't just start with Sinuko Gagar's current phase. It actually kicked off a few years back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back in March 2021, there was an eruption near Mount Fagradalsfjall. That one lasted for six months. Six months. Okay, so this has been building for a while then. Exactly. And scientists are, of course, watching this very closely. They're seeing magma, you, you know, molten rock moving up through the Earth's upper crust. From deep down. From significant depths, yes. But here's something else. They've also noticed the ground actually swelling, kind of puffing up, near Svartsengi. Svartsengi. Isn't that where the big geothermal plant is? That's the one. A really vital facility. And the swelling suggests that maybe not all the magma rising up is actually reaching the surface in these eruptions. So some of it might be getting stored underground, like pressure building up. Potentially, yes. Yeah. It means there's magma accumulating beneath the surface, which is definitely something they're keeping a very close eye on. It's incredible. So much happening, both on the surface with these spectacular eruptions and also hidden, you know, beneath our feet. It's a powerful reminder, isn't it, just how <laughs> dynamic our planet is? Absolutely. Well, this has been fascinating. A huge thank you for sharing these insights. My pleasure. And for all of you listening, stay tuned to the Vyond Podcast. We'll be back with more intriguing stories like this one very soon.